Namaste, vanakam, and a very warm welcome to this week's Sunday Sadhana, your favorite Hindu magazine program on SABC2. Today, our lineup promises to be an exciting one as we keep it all homegrown. So sit back, unwind, and enjoy the show. First up, we join enthusiastic members of the Chinmaya Mission of South Africa during their Fly High and Dive Deep Youth Camp. And later, we discover the exquisite Sri Krishna Society based in the heart of Chatsworth. Operating on the motto, give maximum happiness to maximum people for maximum time, the Chinmaya Mission of South Africa has been instrumental in encouraging youth participation in every facet of Hinduism. Existing for over two decades, the Chinmaya Mission focuses on the self and awakening of the divinity from within. Today, we invite you to fly high and dive deep with members of the Chinmaya Mission during their recently held refreshing youth camp in Chatsworth. At this camp, what we intend to do is to let the youth start thinking, start to initiate that process of thinking where they themselves begin to question, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing right? How can I become the best citizen of, of my country? We want to create Star Wars within our own community. This camp brings in the scriptures into the youth's life and, and it teaches them how, how they can live life in such a manner that they are happy themselves and the people that are around them are also happy. We are bound together. This whole cosmos is a web. And we have to remember that we have to live as one unit. We want people to dive deep within themselves and find out the stores of joy which is within our own selves. Then only we can fly high. By flying high we mean we can change the hearts of our nation. Fly high signifies they should excel in their career also, in their external world also. Spirituality is not against progress, it is against that progress which is taking the character from us. Dive deep means one should go inside their own soul and do some soul searching, become rooted in their own values. We want that each youngster should be loving towards the other person. He should have less of anger. He should have less of attachment. He should be a strength by himself. He should not be lost in this bylanes of sensual objects again and again. The age group, 16 to 35, is crucial to a person when values are fostered and character is formed. The course encourages character development to help carry a person through today's tough and turbulent times. We meet different people, basically, and everyone is unique and they have a different outlook on things. There's many questions that are unanswered, there's many viewpoints that we don't, uh, that are unheard. It opens up my mind to another area of thinking, you know. So when we come together as a group, we, we create a, an environment where we can share each other's thoughts, we can learn from each other. Uh, it's a conducive environment in which we can expand our thinking. I think when we go back into our daily lives, and I think that one lasting impression would be there. I want to have those youngsters which can produce more Vivekanans in our life, which can produce more of Mandela's in our life, so that a country can become a much more better country. We try to bring it together and see what we can do when we go back to change our outlook on things. We hope that camps like this provide a platform for the delegate where he can introspect within himself and try to find, yes, I can, I will, and I must. There is a divinity spark in every person, in every youngsters. We want to make everybody a moving, talking, locking, talking, walking light. Light who, which has hope. He has a light which can give more fragrance in the personality, which can give more love to the people around, which can give more purity. Here it's about imbibing some, some right and correct values in life. And hopefully they'll go away taking that with them. I must become the great achiever that I want to be, not for my own self, for my family, for the society, for the nation, for the world at large. Changed the entire course of my life. 
and I'm forever indebted and that's why I'm here, just to serve the mission and to say how grateful I am. I thought I could go solo in this, you know, the search, the search for spirituality and finding yourself. And little did I realize that it's people that you need in your life to interact. And God is not very distant. He's everywhere and He can manifest in any form. And that's, just, and that's so beautiful. It is. Traveling through Chatsworth, the Sri Krishna Society could be mistaken for just another home. But upon entering the premises, this impression quickly fades. Born out of the efforts of a few individuals, the Sri Krishna Society, complete with kitchen, car park and prayer hall, has become a haven of peace for countless devotees. Established in 1977, the organization has grown tremendously and borne testimony to several miracles. Sunday Sadhana recently paid a visit to learn more about the glory of the spiritual abode. The elaborate finishes, opulent artwork and fine attention to detail throughout the entire layout of the Sri Krishna Society belie the humble beginnings and long struggle of the spiritual head and the devotees. So we got together for the call of the Emperors. We had uh, concerning... We came to Nava and was here in the past. We started to get a lot of money. We started to get a lot of money. We started to get a lot of as well as Buddha Purnima, Eid and Christmas too. All we want is the message is to love all, serve all, spread the message of love, love, love. That's all we want. The unity, love. If there's love, there's a lot of strength. Krishna says, you must see good, do good, and give out. That's his message. Well, the aim is to get spiritual wealth. It is a spiritual wealth that we have to build, and that is what will carry you in life to the end of your journey. And I said to Lord Krishna, I will do what I can do in this earth till I'm living. I did. So today, I am happy where I am. I left something for my people. Hinduism advocates three major parts to God-realization. Knowledge, selfless service to others, and the path of devotion. Undoubtedly, the Sri Krishna Society of Chatsworth are followers of, in Lord Krishna's words, that love and innocent pure intention, that path of bhakti. Thank you for joining us and we hope that you have enjoyed this incredible journey through Hinduism. The team at Sunday Sadhana would like to wish all those observing Peter Paksh and Pratasi a blessed one. May all that you seek be granted. So until next time, think about these words from Swami Chinmayananda who once said, Flood others with your love. Give love. Never pause to receive love. Be dynamically, shamelessly good. Hari Om.